You said you're 51 for the, someone out there that doesn't know your story. When, how did it start? When, when did you get your first house, like an investment property? I started real estate in 1991 as a realtor, and I was 21 years old. And my vehicle making money was selling real estate. You were just selling shoes. Yeah. And I was doing that from 21 to about 27. And what my mentor said to me, look, if you want to actually be wealthy, you got to own real estate. Okay. If you want to be rich, keep selling real estate. Because rich is just trading your money for time. I mean, your time for money. Yeah. Sure. Right? Just like what we're doing right now. Yeah. But if you're wealthy, then you get to trade your money back with time because you have plenty of time to do things down the road. Mm. And so he said, keep making your real estate money. Just take that money and just buy a bunch of real estate. And I was like, okay. So I bought my first rental in 1997. I was like 25, 26. I still own that. I just posted it yesterday. In Seattle. In Seattle. I bought it for 120 grand. And I put a renter in there. I make extra payment every month. And that property today is paid off. I bought it for 120. It's worth 750. Somebody paid it off for me. I get 3,500 bucks on it. Mm. But I got hundreds of those property. Because I just took some money, put 20% down, I just let it ride. Because I didn't need that money. Because yeah. you, you and I are making money doing this, so we yeah. don't need that money. All you we need to do is just park and let it ride. And so I bought my first rental, and then later on, then I bought another rental, then I bought another one. So every year, I was just buying maybe two or three rentals. Every time I make money, I just buy two or three rentals. And then later on, I got hip to the game on buying fixer properties, fixing them up. What's fixer properties for someone out there that so fixer up for mean you gotta buy a property that are that needs work, like it's beat up. Then you put your own sweat sweat time and energy, you'll fix it up and then you create value out of it. So you buy something for five hundred, you put a hundred grand to rehab it, now you're all in for six, but it could be worth seven, eight, nine to a million bucks. And all that equity what I call sweat equity. And that's what we call basically that's your way of your business is yeah. the resale, right? Yeah. So the real estate is fixing them up. But instead of selling the property, rental. you keep it as a rental. Because now you get done, you got instant equity, and you got. And you don't pay tax on those. Uh, no, you don't ever pay taxes, bro. You sure. never. Sure. So if I'm making two, three hundred dollars on a rental from buying as a fixer, and I keep it and I don't sell it, all that two, three, four hundred, I mean that equity, I don't, I don't get tax on it. It just rides. See, but then I take the money. What do I do? I take the money from what I do, like you. Then I take that money and I park it till I get right off. Right? Yeah, so I pay less tax on my money. Yes, sir. Then I let this thing ride forever and never pay tax. And what I do is I turn it, I take the little house and then I trade it in what I call a 1031. 1031 means you can trade the rental to a bigger rental and you never have to pay no tax. You just keep trading up bigger and bigger. Wow. Okay? And Free you go game. from a house, man, and you go to a multi building. So today I own rental residential single family. I own small apartment building. I own big apartment building. I've How many properties do you have now? Probably in single family, over a hundred something. And an apartment building, a couple hundred. Wow. You know what I mean? But I, I started, Amazing. I was 21 years old. So that's why I tell the young folks, if you're gonna make, make like a lot of money, go spend some money. Go buy some nice shoes. Go, go, you know, go do your thing. But don't go spend all of it. Park it for tomorrow because when you turn 50, time go by fast. Yes, sir. And you know, so you look back, you're like, man, I don't have all my money I made. A lot of people are saying, the biggest regret I would say, with all the investors I know, they always say, I wish I would have actually kept a lot of property. Because it goes up in due time. That's right. And then the other regret I hear from a lot of people that make a lot of money, I wish I would have parked my money into real estate early on. So I could have took advantage of the time. But all we got is time anyway. For, for sure. sure. You got any words of advice for someone out there that's watching this video that's like 25 or 30 trying to do the same path you took but don't really have the capital to yeah. do it? If you're 25, I would say the first thing you gotta do, you wanna get into the real estate game, you gotta know how to find good deal that's not on the market. Just like how you find these shoes, like, yeah. you know what I mean? You gotta know how to find these deals, these beater property off market. That's the first thing you gotta learn how to do. Now, one way you can do it, you can drive around, you see an ugly house, write down the address, right? Then go up on the door and ask the owner, have you ever thought about selling it? If the owner wanna sell it, ask them what they want for it. If they say they want 500,000, right? And you got no money, all you do is like, great, just tell the owner, I'd have someone that'll be interested in buying it. Then you go to someone like him and you go, Hey bro, I just found this property, you wanna buy it? You go look at it, mm -hmm. you buy it for 550, you give him 50 grand. Just for referral. For referral. So that's how you young folks can do it. Go find good deals. So if y'all oh, find any properties out there, DM us. That's it. We'll buy them. That's it. <laughs> You're in the California market, you find these ugly houses, and you know the owner wanna sell, but also ask them how much they want for it as is, and they say, yes, I want this, then DM us. We'll take a look at it, we'll run the number, and we'll tell you if it's a good deal. If it ain't, we'll make them off. That's do how it. you do it. That's how you do it. That's 25. Legendary, man. One guy's legend.
One last question I have for you. You have a huge social media following, millions and millions of followers now, uh, millions of views on your videos. How did that get started? Well, when I first started, someone interviewed me. They go, hey man, what do you do for real estate? And I, just like this. Yeah. And then I told them what I did. And I always, if you ever follow me on social media, I always tell people what I'm doing, what I'm working on. And I always tell people the thing that I made a mistake on, right? Or thing that actually I did well. So I only preach and tell people what I do, uh, my experience, not like time I read a book and read, they, read, they reiterate the book, you know what I mean? So it's all my own life story. And then what happened was somebody liked it and then next thing you knew one guy came to me and said, hey man, can I share with you, can I share yourself on social media? And I did a few of those. And then next thing I knew, somebody come, came work with me and they wanted to start shooting videos with me. Mm. And then they just started dropping it and then all I did now, my whole, my whole social media, what type of project I work on, how do I make money in real estate, what do I park my money, how do I save tax on it, and that's it. I just talk about my own thing. I love it, I love it. Right. I love it. Right. So let's go browse for some shoes you came on the other day. You yeah. got your pair of Sakai's. Yes, sir. Today you got some Adidas Ultra Boost. That's right. What do you, uh, what's your favorite shoe? What do you want to cop today? You like Jordans, you like Yeezys, Nike shoes, Dunks, like what are you looking for? Man, I, I got a lot of, you know, I mean, I got a lot of Yeezy, you know, the 350, yeah. 350. You know, I like comfortable shoes, like, you know, the one you gave me the other day, or yeah, the bottom the other day. Sakai's. Yeah, Sakai, yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm what you call it, you know what I mean? Wow. Something that's always just, always new and just clean. Let's go check out let's the bowl. Check. What's let's that go. you wear? Nine and a half. Are you wearing my size? Let's go. In the building. Someone really? I admire, I look uh, up to you with your real estate expertise. You wear a nine and a half. So we got to get him dripped out. You know, he's from Seattle. So next time you go back to Seattle, your, your, your tenants are going to be like, damn. Peace. I'm paying through my rent. I got I to gotta cut down the rent. Right? <laughs> Speaking of that, actually, before we show you a pair of shoes, I saw back in the day, like 10, 15 years ago, you were on the CBS yeah. um, early morning show. I was. And they, this uh, early on in your career of real estate, yep. and they interviewed you on the Daily Show on CBS, yep. and they, you looked out for your tenants That's a couple right. hundred hours less. That's right. How, why? Because when I came from Vietnam, my family, we lived in a homeless shelter. And then we got a gentleman that actually helped us out of the homeless shelter, and then we lived with them, and they helped us. Mm. And so today, my dad, when he when when we came over here, um, he's a social worker, okay. and he was helping a lot of people get set up in houses and you know welfares and everything. Yeah. And so when I came up full circle, all of a sudden I became real estate. Okay. And then. I work at a lot of nonprofit in Seattle and I build a lot of affordable housing in Seattle. Okay. So when these tenants come around with me, I sometimes take less rent so I can help them out. Mm. And I use my house as a transitional property. So I still do that a lot. A lot of people don't realize that. But Good Morning America just called me out of the blue and said, man, I'm doing an American Hero story. We ran a lot of application. We saw you. We want to come to Seattle. We shot the whole video. Wow. Uh, and that's uh, at a young age too. Yeah. So, uh, so I, I still do a lot of that. You know what I mean? I love it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so nine half drip. What we got for my boy, man? I think I showed you that last yeah, time. The Syracuse. Syracuse. This is a beautiful shoe. I need those for my That's car. That's a very hot shoe. I, I need those for my car. Match that wood. What car are you matching that with? Your Rolls. I, I got my brand new black Rolls Royce. Vic just pimped it out, and it got orange interior. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Pass on these, right? I gotta get these right for my car. Definitely. I gotta make a match. Break the internet. I gotta break the internet. Explore page. Break I gotta, I gotta break the internet. I got a brand new Rolls Royce. We just pimped it out. It got all gold, uh, all orange interior. How many like cars there. you got now? I got, uh, I got my G63. I got my Bentley Flying Spur that Vic did. Yeah. Uh, just sold my Rolls Royce Don. When he's referring to Vic, shout out to RDB. Yeah, Good RBD. friends of ours yep, and the best people sure. in the game. And then I just picked up my Rolls Royce Ghost, and I got an F8 Spider coming, and I got an SF90 Spider coming. Sick. Yeah. Because, hey, 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 here's the thing, y'all. All that is being paid by the rent of my rental property. Okay. So it's free. You're basically it's free. It's free. And the price of the uh, his, uh, Property. uh, properties are going up. going up. So you're double dipping. That's right? double dipping. And have the write-off. That's triple dipping. And you're not paying no taxes. <laughs> and it's a real legend right Come here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I love doing episodes like this because I, I learned a lot from When we did an episode with Gary Vee, I learned so much from him. And it's from you, too. Like, I learned so much from you. Is it? So. And then you guys like ones. This is the beautiful collab. This is the Storm Blues, the Unions. Huh? That's a rare, rare one. Oh, this is a rare right, a couple, one. A couple thousand dollars shoe right there. What? The first release was only released in LA, so it was really, really limited. They later on released them later on everywhere, but it's a really, really limited collab. Okay, right there, folks. There you go. Okay. You can throw that on right now. It's gonna, it, it goes with the hoodie, man. Right? It does go with your hoodie. Let me just that for you. Look at this stuff. You know, I always tell people, this is my words of advice for people that start getting new sneakers. It opens a lot of doors. Even for me, with, with shoes, it, opened, it changed our lives. You know what I mean? It opened so many doors. You, you might wear these shoes in Seattle and somebody's like, oh shit, nice shoes. Right. And that might open a potential deal for All you where day, you make millions of dollars. All day.
Hey, hey, right. even even those uh, even the shoe that uh, Hudson bought, you know what I mean? Yeah. The Jordan One, those are tight, bro. Oh, those are nice shoes. Nice those are tight. Look at that. Sheesh. Come on, man. See, your kids know about those. Come on, man. Those are the Union Ones. That's probably one of the best Jordans. Come on, man. Stop playing with hey. my boy. Huh? Hey, what's up, man? Oh, oh, huh? Huh? That's quality. Good That's quality right, right there. These are the two contender. Yeah. These are the two contender. Take this off me and put this in the rolls too. Take this orange. Come on, baby. Okay, so we got two, what, two potentials? Yeah, two potential right there. All right. And we got some Air Maxes here. This is a collaboration between Sean Wood with their spoon and Nike. Oh see these hot things? These are good. These are nice too. Those are very popular. These are popping too. Yeah, huh? didn't Ben Baller help? Something like that. Yeah, he helped uh, design it. All right, shout out to my boy Ben Baller too. I just talked to him this morning. And Sean, man. Yep, exactly. Ooh, these are crazy, dog. These are the third contender. That's the third contender. There you go. My oh boy found three quick. There you go. I like that. I like this one Judge just released oh, that last yeah. week. God, Black and yellow. Nice, right, nice and clean. Again, it goes perfect with the hoodie, man. Damn, these are bombs. Wow. What? It's a clean colorway. Really low, too, on the price point. I think we had those for like around 200 Man. Really great shoe. Somebody got to get these. Hudson, they don't fit your size anyway. I got too many dunks. Yeah. Man, is it this? Between this and this, bro? What? Are you a basketball player? I gotta ask you that. I used to play, but I'm a little rusty. So what I'm gonna do, Okay. so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna give you two free throws. Yep. If you make two in a row. Two in a row. I'll give you a thousand off whatever you get. Okay. Got it? Got it. So where, where, where are the four potentials? Those two? I think. These I, ones? I think these two are the potential, bro. What do you think? Same two? But let's press them. All right, so I'm gonna give you one practice shot, though. One practice shot. Let's Where's the line at? Right around yeah. this little line, the imaginary okay. line right, All right there. there we go. One free throw. Practice. All right. I'm if the airball is the next one, you gotta uh, give me one of your properties. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. I got it. Oh! oh. <laughs> should, should we give him another chance? Yeah. We got a packed house today on a beautiful Friday. It's New Year's Eve. If you make this, it's a thousand. Oh. Right, there it is. Just make one right there. This is your last chance right here. Pressure's on. Oh! oh. I'm not supposed to do it. Get ahead. He about to sub, sub his son in. Oh! Best shooter. He's a shooter. He subbed the sixth man of the year in. Oh, Eric. Hey, man, listen, man. At the end of the day, all you want to tell you, have fun out there. Go make a lot of money. Spend some. Spend a lot of money on shoes. Park your money in real estate because you can't lose, baby. Because they don't make no more real estate forever. Yo. Legend. Hey, hey, they, they told me I had to get these, babe. Oh, sweet. There you go. Those are sick. We, we, had, we had to use it for display for the rose. You got a uh, uh, interior uh, orange. I, I got my orange on too. I'm going to have to buy it off of him. <laughs> hey, either I'm buying the suit off him or he's buying my car off me, man. <laughs> One way or the other. Well, I'm going to send you some pictures that ghost right now. You guys are going to trip. Yeah, send me that, please. Make sure to go check out RDB, man. Vic's a good friend of ours. Make sure to go support RDB. All right. All right, Vic. Peace out.